Now, I, I think that there's also a great deal of confusion over what an atheist really is. Uh, an atheist is very simply a person who does not have a belief in a god or gods or a supernatural world. That, that's it. Section 6 of the Constitution of the United States says in black letter uh, law that there shall be no religious test for any office under these United States, under this Constitution. And uh, so what part of no don't they understand? When, uh, it seems to be popular in atheist bashing these days to uh, uh, act as if atheists have no values, no uh, clever jokes like some judge says, well, I, uh, atheists have a holiday, April Fool's Day, right? <laughs> I'm frequently asked, when did I become an atheist? Well, in, in reflection, I was born an atheist, you were born an atheist, everyone's born an atheist. A more correct question is, when did the God talk get poured into your dear little head? And, and I've heard many people say, well, without a belief in God, you, people would just go out and, and murder each other. Well, I wouldn't, and uh, no other atheists I know would, and there are very few born-again atheists on death row. And if the person making the statement truly believes that, then I think that person, for our own safety's sake, should go right on believing in a God. I've been asked uh, uh, how I know the Bible so well, and I say, because of 12 perfect years of Sunday school attendance. And say, well, why do you not believe in it? I say, because of 12 perfect years of Sunday school attendance. I mean, we have a president who says that we need judges who understand that our laws come from God. Well, no, we don't need that either. We need a president who doesn't say those kinds of things. And where, right now you have people running for the presidency who are vying with one another to see who can be the most Christian, the most uh, religious, the most condemning of anyone who is not, with the implication that anyone who is not a believer is somehow outside of the American experience with some people actually saying that freedom of religion does not mean freedom from religion. Well, of course it does. When our country was founded, the only thing really from the Bible that's incorporated into our Constitution is uh, how you treat your slaves and, and denying women rights. Uh, those are religious concepts that are embedded in our Constitution, but there's no belief in a God or any requirement of a belief in a God. And those who say that America is founded and set up on principles of the Bible are just simply wrong. <coughs>